turn with us to the book of Hebrews, chapter number 12. Oh, Begin with verse number 18. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, All right. nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest, mm -hmm. and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they had heard entreated that word should not be spoken to them anymore. My God. For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart. Mm -hmm. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear. Oh, I see and the Lord. Lord. But ye are come unto Mount Zion. Ye are come to Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living God. of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, all right. and to the spirits of just men made perfect. Thank you. The spirit of just men made perfect. Thank God. That's what it's all about, saints. The spirits of just men made perfect. A flawless spirit. A flawless spirit. Spirit without imperfections. You praise today, please. This is what it's all about, saints. Aside from this, uh, you don't have a ticket for heaven. This will be your ticket. You said down here that uh, they could not endure the what was taught at the time. And uh, despite their best efforts. See, there's a criteria that you must meet before you're uh, able to concur with this gospel. You follow this name of God. And what does it say in verse number 22? But ye are come unto Mount Zion, All right. and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company now, of Father, angels. Now follow here, come on. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn, yes. which are written in heaven, all right. and to God, the judge of all, all right. and to the spirits of just men made perfect. All right, listen, listen. You want, uh, people are trying to determine uh, what the church is all about and, and by what criteria do you judge the church. This is the only real objective of the church, what is to perfect the spirit of men. Yes, you get saved. Now, you. now, we are not talking about absolute perfection that you might not uh, <coughs> mistakenly call a person at a distance another person's name because you did not design their features. When, uh, well, that's a, a visual uh, error, but you really got to be perfect for him. <coughs> Do you understand that? God help us. Now, listen, listen. now, under the old dispensation, they could not achieve this. They could not come to this point. They could not endure it. And uh, the apostle was trying to let them know that here. Now, you, in, in a dispensation here, what you're dealing with now is infinitely different. And you cannot uh, rely on those imperfections that you got by with. Oh, God. Well, I, nobody perfect well, they want to please, 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 please. That doesn't go through that, don't go through that. You don't feel, feel like you know what you to say. Yeah. Mount Zion, of the real church of God, <coughs> there is one definite assignment. What? Is to perfect the spirit of men. God help us. You can get it, Don't you know they want, if you are at a place, that cannot challenge you, spirit, to go higher, you're going to fall. You bring a game. You bring a game. So here's it. Now, but now, the objective here, you can pray about the things of God. But many people would even they, they defy the idea. If anybody think they're perfect, they only have to do it. Well, Lord, I must do it. My God, that's Babylon teaching. 
Here we are, sure. This one. Now, uh, we're going to have to have the right today. And if we don't have the right, I trust that we'll be able to correct it. And, oh, and, get, and get it situated. And get it situated. The spirit, now here, we're dealing with the spirit. Your spirit, or the quality of your spirit, will determine your destiny. You understand? Now, that might be some other thing you might not have light on. <coughs> but, uh, uh, you follow me? And now, and, and you don't determine, you don't determine that yourself. Now, if we or anyone else are claimed to be Zion, then uh, you should have an experience that challenges people to move up and not satisfy themselves until they get perfection. That's, that's your responsibility. Amen. All right, give me Proverbs chapter number 16. You follow, follow this scenario here. Come on. The preparations of the heart in man. The preparation of the heart in man. And the answer of the tongue. All right. Is from the Lord. All right, go ahead. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. You know what? That's why the psalmist uh, says, Lord, you such a I'm, I'm going to judge myself. If I have a fault, I'm going to call it by another name and, 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 and testify over it. And think that take care of it. You follow me? You think, read that again, please. All the ways of a man. All the ways of a man. Are clean in his own are, eyes. In his own eyes. He put it, why? Because you justified it. You assess it. You evaluate it. So all of the ways of a man is what? Clean in his own eyes. Clean in his own eyes. When you fix it up. You 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 not you not do this. Make it clean. Money not drink, give it that. And I should read your message. Come away. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. <laughs> in his own eyes, right? Because he, he judges himself. You, you follow me? And many would get before God in the judgment trying to do the same thing. <laughs> quit. You could be that trying to justify you. The Lord, I did all this. I didn't do this. I quit doing this. Oh my, oh my. And Lord, I gave up this and I gave up that. I don't drink, I don't smoke. I don't commit adultery. But what do you do? Come on. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. eyes. But the Lord weigheth the spirits. You want to tell you something? God has uh, just weight. You understand? God determines <clears throat> whether your every act, your every involvement, was spiritual. Uh, oh Lord, brother, Lord, help us all, brother. You follow me? Your action, your reaction. Yes. Was that impatient? Or was that just trying to correct someone? What is the situation? You follow me? Was that anger? Uh, just, oh, I just got upset. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All the sentimental stuff, and all this corresponding. Yeah, years ago, and I would suspect it's very rare today, when the young people started quitting, you know what they would do? They would go to the parish home, <coughs> and maybe their own mother would go with them, yeah. checking out for her son and daughter, whatever it might be, and says, uh, what about her? Well, she said, I'll tell you, honey, you can go on, but uh, you have probably never that woman. That's my child. <laughs> <laughs> You understand what I mean? Why? Because uh, she, she, she doesn't know. No, she doesn't go to the theater. She doesn't uh, go around with, with boys. Really, truly, you know. But some, when I had to wash dishes the second time, she, she'd come out the corner. <laughs> when I said, clean up a bed, my, this is my bed. It's so that you give me. You, you, my, you, you, my own. This is my whole house. They'll, they'll come back at the mother just like they were another child. And you have to live with that. Yeah. <laughs> You live with a, you live with more than a, than a, than a six foot three broad shouldered individual with this, that, and the other. I'm going to tell you something, God. What, well, ma'am? What, what about your daughter? Go there unannounced. And, 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 and check it out. See what, see what kind of music you play. 
They want to undertake men. You follow me? See uh, how they react to their parents. Good. But my mom, I'm, I'm 16 years old. Well, don't you know you be your a 16 foot uh, apartment? <laughs> you know what I mean? This is a big limitation to us. Many people are impeccable as far as their dress is concerned. They're faithful in their church attendance. But they want, but uh, at the drop of a pen, they get, they get provoked and overreact and call it by another name. Well, this is the situation, children. I don't know what you do and what you don't do and what you say and what you preach and everything else. But brother, if that spirit is perfect, listen, let me show you the, uh, the, the comparison here. Get back to where you were in the uh, 12th chapter of Hebrews. You'll come to what? But ye are coming to Mount Zion <laughs> yes. and unto the city of the living God. You, you find it. What? And unto the city of the living God. The city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. The heavenly Jerusalem. And to an innumerable company <coughs> of angels. The church of God should be just like heaven. Oh, right. Identical. Well, in fact, it's just a department of heaven. <coughs> it's nothing separate. Yes, it could too. Listen, what? You come to Mount Zion, you come into heaven on earth. <laughs> we never said, I discourage you work. <laughs> come, 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 come. I never are overreacting when they're disappointed. Never the one when, when I, I can't sing my solo after I'm going to church tonight. Alright, alright. One time we had to go to testify. They went too long and the Holy Spirit just said, who the hell are you talking about? Well, why every time I get rejected? Why the mouth? Why the Holy Spirit? And in fact, that's not the case anyway. So you don't testify that much because you haven't been testified about the cone. <laughs> but you are coming to Mount Zion. You're coming to Mount Zion. And unto the city of the living the God. The city of the living God. The heavenly oh. Jerusalem. Wait a minute. Now here. Uh, this is heaven on earth. You find the of God. When you come to the church of God, the same atmosphere should be there. The same consideration for one another. The same love. And, and, and forbearance shown. As is in heaven. Move! Right. But I mean, that can be one deal throughout eternity. Amen. You don't deal one, uh, the spirit that you imbibe, you will have to uh, endure them. And some people, you wouldn't want that you know you wouldn't want to be there. If you're there, I don't want to be there. Well, that's a tough thing. Come on, over. To an innumerable company of angels. An innumerable company. You are already, when you get the Holy Ghost in your soul, in a real way, you are already an angel, angelic. You don't get that spirit more than an angel do. You follow it? You, you, amen. You don't let them more than an angel do. Huh? You, you don't overreact any more than an angel. All right, now, that's good. So, come on. We look at, we got a, a respected person. She, she thinks she, she, she take her over. Twice the night. What do you mean, I don't envy that? We don't want you. You don't envy people in heaven. No. Help us, Lord. Well, you're pushing that going, but anyway. I'm just in the situation. There, 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 should, there shouldn't be no strife. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. There shouldn't be no overreaction, wife to husband, and likewise. It shouldn't be that at all. No. Now, I just said that. And, and just the fact, well, you don't know him. I don't have to know him, but I know you. Because he's a man special spirit. But you are coming to Mount Zion. You know, let me tell you something to God. Uh, I told you about this several times. In San Diego, California, we were there. I went down to the service. It was about the 40, 50 miles from where I was based. And uh, the fellow pulled up in front of the church. He said, the wife, how she had a white uniform, a white hat she had made. And there was, in fact, she was uh, uh, modest, impeccable. I mean, there was nothing that you could find from her. And she told the preacher, listen, that uh, my wife, oh, she's well, I guess she enumerated the good thing that she cooks and she do this and the other. And I've never suspected her going out. But every time she gets mad, she starts speaking that French. <laughs> uh -oh. The Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. And you, every time you get mad, you do it. My wife, one of the 
out for Buddha to last a flesh. <laughs> Amen. Mama, you're different. 
In other words, you are negatively uh, different. You follow me? Even, even, even a, a, a cat and dog. You get a bad day at the job and come back. And the person wants to come over here. Come see you, come home here. Get on your butt. Help me.
You mess around here, don't know what's in you. You're going to do something that's going to bash you and, and, and call your soul to drop off in hell. My God. Right. And, you don't want to know. Cause you, 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 it's right. You, you justify yourself. It's right in my own eyes. I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Yeah. If somebody try to show you, look at the moon in your own eyes. In the morning, you won't be, don't want to be corrected. If somebody try to show you your spirit, you, you, you get angry and upset. I'm going to tell you this thing. When somebody will not accept the correction, they got to think I'm falling wrong. Mm. All right. Ooh, all right. Uh, you know what? This, I remember uh, when I just started preaching. Well, I was impressed with another preacher who just, you know, who was a little gross and whatnot. And so, uh, old saints, brother Frank, is that not what he was you? You act like you were best like <coughs> And you guess what? Do you like other, some, other, other preachers? Uh, you're right, that's what I'm trying to imitate. <laughs> oh, God. What? Well, I don't get mad. Just God, God give me this message. Those, 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 those. He didn't give that spirit. He didn't give you that spirit. And I accepted it. And, and I prospered from it. Because I, I can sense what she said. You know what? I don't go and be so uh, angry to justify myself because I'm going to come back at him and try to make myself look good despite Amen. You find me? This, you come to Mount Zion. You come to the church of the living God where the spirit of God is working within us. And it's dangerous. It's dangerous. And you want to tell you to come to the church of God uh, in hypocrisy. Don't, don't, don't play no games in there. Don't come there and try to uh, uh, be a showman, pray that our God here. You, don't, don't do that. <laughs> That's flesh. You follow me? Children, uh, go in yourself here. Help us, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Amen. Uh, we've had one minister came to our, our fellowship meeting and uh, he would normally preach on Saturday night. He always had the message on Saturday night when oh there were most God, people. Help us. And he was a fiery preacher, good preaching, all this, you know. But uh, he claimed Saturday night as his my night. <laughs> he wouldn't have sign that he didn't get it for himself. Lord. And so uh, one this, this is the truth. Uh, so one Saturday night, he didn't want to expose the spirit, so he got up and went to the bathroom. When uh, we said, hey, we're going to have a message. And so, uh, it was too, a bit too blatant to say, I have it all the time. So we went to the bathroom, uh, supposing that we would uh, assign him as we normally did. Mm. And one of the others, I got the message. And he came back, and he was talking, and he said, this I got the And you know what? He did what he did. He split the country in my congregation. I've been preaching there Saturday night for 70 years. Oh, no. okay. And you accused me of this and that and other. But, but please, please. Now, a person here is that much in the flesh and don't recognize it. My God. I've had to come back, he had to drive all the way back and apologize to that. Oh, my, oh, my. You found what? what? In other words, uh, because I didn't get you to preach on the night, you get to lose all the people that I normally do. You were, you're going to tell the congregation and keep the other ministers and try to turn them against me also. And by two o'clock in the morning, they say. And, and, and some of them listen to it. I'm telling you, the one. Do you know what you follow? What do you do? What do you do? That's right. You follow me? I mean, because he didn't get the main service, so he get the ooze and all the other people. And the echoes keep the point. He tore it up. He came in and went in my office and, and, and he just ripped me over. Brother, you go too far. He was obsessed with spirit. Mm -hmm. what, what, because what? It is contesting. Contesting here. What I mean? Uh, he wanted to be the, 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 the main showman, the main demonstrator here. What? And this time, uh, he missed it. And he thought that somebody was going to steal the show and steal him. God help us. Didn't know his own spirit. And I mean, he apologized, but with it, an apology they want. They would not correct the spirit. Mm. All right, all right, all right. One of the me and my wife, we have problems. That's something my girlfriend. But I always, I have our problems, I apologize. They yeah. want limitation. Apologies did not correct the spirit. Yeah. Well, let me get ahead of this appeal. <laughs> Give me Psalm 51. 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 Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward. Thou desirest truth in the inner man. 
inward part, inward part and in the hidden part, the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with this yeah. Purge me with this yeah. right. And I shall be clean. Now for me, I'll be clean. Wash me. Watch, watch it now. Wash me. And I shall be whiter than snow. I shall be whiter than snow. Yes, Lord, help me. Come on. Make me to hear joy and gladness. Make me to hear joy and gladness. That the bones which thou hast broken yes. may be joy. Yes. <laughs> Hide thy face from my sin. Come on. And blot out all my iniquity. Blot out all my what? All my iniquity. All my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God. Wait, hold it, hold it. Create me a clean heart, O oh Lord. And renew a right spirit within me. Lord, forgive me, but uh, my spirit got to be changed. And other than I'm going to do it again. Because I have to do my spirit. Many people, yeah, I, I, did, I did that, but did it. But it, 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 your spirit didn't change. They didn't, you didn't let God change your spirit. And for you to be successful hereafter, your spirit got to be changed. You can't be even thinking about this. You can't be wrong about this. Because the Bible speaks about it. Doing something and then get on the seducing spirit. Well, over here, that same spirit is going to take you back out. And one day we turn to you. follow me? Read that again. Do what? Renew what? Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, uh -huh. and renew a right spirit within me. Renew a right spirit. How many times have you confessed the same thing to the overcoats of God? How many times? Lord, I, I did it again. Lord, I'm sorry. I did I'm tired of my own self. I'm just sick of myself. Well, you should be. <laughs> Listen, because it's not for you. Come on with it. Created me a clean heart. A clean heart, Lord. God. Uh -huh. And renew a right spirit. No, wait a minute. Lord, wait a minute. Renew another spirit. A right spirit, Lord. Re renew it. Lord, I, I, I ask you to forgive me. No, listen, but, but hold it. But wait a minute. That my spirit. Yes. Yes. It didn't change my spirit. Yes. It made me feel good for a while. Listen, the boy used to go to a... Catholic Church in, in uh, Marine Corps, and they would go in, they come at 4 o'clock in the morning, and they come back and say, I feel so clean, but they were booking for a nice book. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? You follow that? So when they were, what, uh, they are, and maybe, I'm not saying maybe sometimes, uh, they might be forgiven if they, if they repented, barely, but this is too much. That doesn't change your spirit. You follow that? might just justify you the deed that you've done, but that doesn't change the spirit. I I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry I went off on you again. But, but, you, but that didn't change your spirit. She said, I forgive you. But that didn't change your spirit. But she forgave me. I know that you would be. She's not God. God gives spirits. But your spirit not different. Your spirit not different. And that's why you, you cry every day. Else. Come on. Oops, I did it again. What do you want to keep doing? And even though your circumstances might change. You're going to do it one way or the other. You do it one way or the other. This is a tremendous thing, says the guy here. But a, a, a perfect, a flawless spirit. A spirit where there are no flaws. The Bible says the spirit of just men made perfect. No flaws in it. An evil spirit. What? What? Listen. Psalm 119, 165. Listen. What is a flawless spirit? You better get the faith of God. You get the full God and, uh, uh, and you find out that you weren't there. And there'll be no correcting me after the judgment. Come on with it. Great peace have they which love thy law. Now, this is what it's all about. Yes. But the point is, give me the definition here. Uh, this, what great peace have what? Have they which love thy love law. law. And nothing shall offend them. Say what you want to call me, am I my name? I'm my name. Do what you please. Undermine me. I don't agree with it. I might cry with it, but I'm going to change my spirit. And I'm not going to be right in my own eyes. Praise God. And I'm going to know when my spirit changes too. Praise God. You're going to know. Look in the mirror. You have to a special change. You feel like you need to feel it. And if you feel heavy now, you don't feel like praying now. What? And then, the word of God don't mean nothing to you. Why? You don't feel it. Because the inspiration is not there. You lost it. You lost the inspiration. Trying to pray with no inspiration is difficult. Sure. I mean, it's, it's a chore. Trying to pray with no inspiration, what? Whatever. 
you became offended, and when you become offended, you get an attitude. <coughs> now you got to deal with more than the issue is attitudinal. You got, you got to deal with it with your you, you, you attitude change. That's how you, your attitude change. Uh, when you go, come to church, come, come go home in the afternoon, your wife has your knife and dinner here. It's not too late to come home, you got to go, you don't get what to do. But anyway, come in. Honey, come on in. I don't want to I'm not hungry. You just told her nothing because you're hungry. Don't know the Not even that you can do a real mess now because you don't know you're hungry all the other time. Oh, God, that was good. You find the back. I'm making you feel bad. I'm going to go out. How do we? And uh, and even the wife and you, you did not uh, acquiesce with her wishes. And, uh, and so she, you know, she gets upset and everything. You come, you come and live in my arms. I got you. <laughs> what the what the hell is going on? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna tell you, say, God, you fight it back, you tell him, that's what you do, you tell him. That's not perfect, baby. Oh God. Well, but I'm gonna say that the position push you when you know you're too affected, or affected that I'm not gonna do that. No, but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about that. The spirit has just been made perfect. If we fail to do that, uh, we have not accomplished our own purpose. We are not used to, to try to out do somebody out, preach out, sing somebody out, do this and the other. They want or uh, talk about accolades and all that kind of stuff. But uh, your objective must be uh, to perfect the spirit of others. I'm not just perfected. Now, I'm not might be some flaws, but make them aware of it, not by criticizing, <laughs> but by showing them by example. Amen. You follow me? The, 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 the uh, perfect spirit. Give me uh, Roman 1 4. I think it is. <coughs> and declared to be the Son of God with power. All right. According to the spirit of holiness. According to what? The spirit of holiness. Dear one, let me tell you something. Holiness is not denominational, holiness is not some church that you go to. Holy is not some doctrine that you hold diligently. But holy is a spirit. That's right. And they don't need trying to make people dress modest, do nothing else if they don't have a spirit on them. Or try to be sweet and not overreact or let them get they don't have a spirit on Then your spirit will actually you. You follow me? That's why they call wine with the spirit will call it. What? When you drink it, it and you get on that spirit, then you act different. Wine and spirit. <laughs> Come on, what, what? Uh, the spirit that you have is actually you. You got to have the spirit for it. Otherwise, I don't know what I preach. But nobody else preach. I'm attracting everything else. If you don't have spirit on you, you're not going to be holy. You're going to do what you feel like doing. You're going to do what, you, uh, what you're pleased with doing. But, but acting truly, you got to have the spirit on it. There's a spirit that holds it. There's a spirit that prompts you to be modest. There's a spirit here. You know what I mean? You got to do first and all that. You go home and talk about it and all that kind of stuff. Or whatever came, I don't have that man in. Oh Lord, the spirit. You got to get the spirit of it. And then you'll see people start messing up without you even uh, talking about it. Mm -hmm. Come back to church, and then you know, uh, the people come in. That's why they. Uh, they that's why, not just because they saw somebody come back and their face is clean. They just tell it of their regular color. It's good. You know, and then you, and you, and you have to real eyebrows and you get your eyebrow pencil. <laughs> and you have some eyelashes that you can buy. <laughs> you follow me? You follow me? What, 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 now, what, because what? They got the spirit of holiness. Not that nobody cram nothing down their throat. You follow me? They, they nobody uh, criticize because they didn't do it. They got the spirit of holiness. Now the Holy Ghost can dictate them. That's the church you got to die for. That's the situation. You don't go pounding on the body and try to enumerate all the things that you don't agree with. Get the, let's get the spirit of holiness. Yes. And the Holy Ghost will teach them. Amen. When they see the example, they're willing to follow. Amen. You follow me? And not only that, they want, many times, we want people to the church. I remember this. In fact, I preached one funeral about, two, about three months, four, five months ago in Detroit. I preached the funeral. And he was 
trying to decide, and people went to the Baptist church, and the uncle went to the God of Christ, and so there was a rivalry between them. And we would come up every day, and he would watch me, and another, another preacher that was so good on the who would <clears throat> pick on me, and he would go in my pocket and try to make me overreact, because I said, you need to preach sin, you don't make me sin, and expose me to more people. And so he did all this kind of thing, just went overboard. And he said, <clears throat> so he I think I'm coming to your church with you. I've seen all that and I never see you get mad. Overreacting. What? I didn't know you watching me. Why do you watch and say I'm going to react? It, 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 the, the spirit will manifest and the spirit can make me. It was not the doctrine. It was not my knowledge of the scripture, but then the spirit. You follow me? The, the mouth value, the, you want, we should be so filled with the spirit and void of self that the very atmosphere should be charged. When people come here, they'll be, they'll, the spirit holds among us with a convincer. Oh, that's the part. Feel something. Young lady, a young child, but she's like, the universe is so old, so young. You can just make a reference. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody, no, nobody, of course, nobody saying nothing, but they sense the difference. And the world sense the difference. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Downtown, <laughs> there was an <clears throat> individual, very prominent, and uh, he was, and, uh, was you know, involved in politics greatly. You know, and I, I did not to that any extent. And so, uh, and uh, he was going to get in with the judge and want to be maybe conservative because Jackson is a conservative city and all that, and he did it with the judge and the prosecutor. And so after several months, I was going down, and I got kind of familiar with him. And he said, he called me Reverend Hampton. He said, he does just much different than you and Reverend so and so and so. Let me 
me show you something. Turn to Daniel, chapter 6. All right. Help us, Lord. Chapter 6. Which verse? Uh, give me verse 1. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom <coughs> and hundred and twenty princes. Go on. Which should now, be living closer now. Come on. Which should be over the whole kingdom. Yes. And over these three presidents, yes. of whom Daniel was first. Yes. That the princes might give account unto them. All right. And the king should have no damage. Yes. Then this Daniel uh -huh. was preferred above the presidents and princes. Because an excellent spirit was All of those present, all those highfalutin men, all the knowledgeable individuals, all the impressive people, <laughs> and Daniel, a captain, yeah. and was promoted above all of them. Because what? Because an excellent spirit was in they, him. They, not because he performed exploits, not because he made some eloquent speeches, but he had a spirit that excelled the other. What they were judging him by was his spirit. And the people plotted against him, they knew that. They knew that they had his own in the night lion then. They never changed the spirit, never changed the spirit. An excellent spirit. The judge is out on Daniel, not because of his exports, not because of all the great outstanding things he did, but you can't change the spirit. You mistreat him, you talk about him, you can plot against him, you can undermine him. But no spirit change. That one here. Regardless of what. And guess what? And they were so envious, that's the way we say. Uh, and they, they were convinced themselves. <laughs> that we never change the spirit. So uh, I don't care what we do to it. The only thing we can do is maybe get to talk about it. Get to God and conviction. Now he's not going against the conviction. Is that something? He's not, he's, he's not going against the conviction. But I don't do it. But now, anything else, he might be, you know. Might ignore. But they were convinced. You're not going to use that. <coughs> Another compliment? Yes, sir. We, we got to find something else because he likes it. And what we'll do, we'll say anybody that's clean, uh, to anyone other than the king and such another time. You find it? If we got to get do something concerning the religion, he's not going to change that. He, he got the spirit of it. He's not going to change it. He's not going to change the conviction. He's not going to step one inch out of the conviction. I don't care what. But he's in captivity. He might get killed, but I'm sorry. He's not going to change. That means something, brother. He's not going to change. Power in that, brother. He's not going to change. Whatever. So, uh, because to begin with, they had no mystery. And he was down there. And this is what, uh, eat, uh, this is your meal. We got a special meal for you. What you got there? I'm sorry. I don't need that.
it's always done. You always do it. And guess what? And instead of them a product, the king and those the witness, this is the kind of man that I want. I don't care about my spouse, my school bills, all my, my intelligent men, all my men who know the laws, and I, I want somebody with a right spirit. I can trust them. I can trust them. I can trust them. Yes, sir. Amen. They might not have this and the other, amen, but I can trust them. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's part of that's what he is. That's what he's all about. He's not trying to be no, be no showman. He's not trying to prove no point. He's not trying to prove how I stood here. That's his spirit. That's him. But I'm going to tell you something to God. I don't want to get before God and find out that my spirit has multiple imperfections that I've called by another name. Now, I've justified those weak spots on a consistent basis because I want to be a president. I'm a holy man. I, I testify good and all kinds of I don't want, I can't make that mistake. It's too costly. And so, in the, in the way, I want the, I want the spirit of it. So that I'd be immovable. Yeah, sure. Amen. That anybody can, nah, and he doesn't testify for himself. Yeah. Listen, his spirit testifies for him. Yeah. They testify for him. Even his enemy testifies. He's not going to change. We're not going to get into this thing long if we concern his God and his, his religion. We're not going to do it. I don't care what you say. You can threaten it. You can throw me a line in. He's not going to move on his. My Lord. Oh my. And they testify for him. See, when you're right there, but people testify for you. Oh, right. You gotta get a take a sign on your back. I'm holy. Just live it. Keep it in with spirit. Be made great. Grace have they that love thy Lord and nothing shall offend. Amen. Nothing shall offend. This morning. What? what? Uh, I mean, you know what? Jesus, Jesus lost practice for all his whole congregation with John chapter 6. Don't turn that down. Yes. And it, uh, almost his whole congregation was because he would preach this gospel. And the Bible said, many were the things of it. And, oh, and we follow no more. Right. Because he preached this gospel right from the same their soul. This, I'm not going back to church. I'm not going back to church. But it, they were bound, they were thinking. <laughs> but the Bible said, great, great, they have been that little God law. And nothing shall offend. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> One time a little uh, fellow could make good chili. Which in the children like it, and we put a lot of hot sauce in it to flavor. And so sometimes too hot for them, they just eat and drink some water. It's good, but, but I like the chili. The chili's good, so I just drink some water and try to make that, 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 that hot uh, pepper on it. Lord. Preach the gospel. I'm at the altar, I'm at the altar, I'm at the altar, I'm at the altar, I'm at the
not sure how we can handle with the baby. We take care of the person we bought. I might have done it all the way back. You want? Know, God bless you. A flawless spirit. And we, and we can have a flaw. And we're not talking about human being able to interpret everything here and you do all things and you can identify all things. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the spirit here. You your spirit, not, not your performance, will determine your destiny. Your spirit will determine your destiny, not your performance. And you might be performing like an angel, flying in the, in the heaven, but it's your spirit. It's going to determine your destiny. And God has to let me get in your life and go and take for granted that it's going to be all right. Don't do that thing. Search me, Lord. Because you're going to wait me in the judgment. You're going to wait me, Lord. We're going to just wait. Despite what I say, despite how I try to vouch for myself. Wait me. And, and maybe you convince yourself that you already wait me in the eyes. Use God. I do it to you, Lord. Three, seven. Oh. No. Three, seven. 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 Three, Work for God. And I preach that make me fine tuning for the judgment. I think everything will matter. But when they fine tune those cars, maybe for one sixteenth of an inch and gap in those clubs, everything will be different. If you just a little bit more and start shaking the car, start shaking, vibrating. Because what? It's not fine tuned. You get before God, children, you're going to be next shaking too, because you won't have no bullets in the judgment. You won't have no bullets. Can't hold it because all those things that you've been justifying are going to come before you. And then you'll, you'll see them as they are. All those things that will, will come before you, and then you'll see them as they really are. That's what we're today. That's what it's all about. This is my life. This is my life. This is what it's all about, children. We're not here to socialize. Amen. We come here, baby, and get our spirit made perfect. Amen. And, 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 and perfection is a destination, not a journey. You don't just travel forever and never. You get, you get there. By the grace of God, you pay the price. So if you need some help here, you may come. Shall we say? Where will we find you, Lord? Why don't I help you? If you need help, you may come forth. If you need help, you may come forth.